today's video I'm just gonna be doing my makeup um, and kind of just talking through some things nothing really specific but things that are um, I feel like I'm currently dealing with and kind of just think about a lot I find makeup being like very therapeutic for me so most of the time I'm like doing my makeup like while listening to music um, just taking my time um, so I feel like why not process these things um, with you all while I'm doing my makeup like I said I don't have an agenda for this but we're just gonna start with you know whatever comes to mind I kind of go from there so just to like acknowledge what you see right now this hair is from Eunice which I reviewed it more in my last video so if you not if you didn't see that already make sure you click on the link that's in the description box these glasses they do have a prescription in them but they are from Z Lul and I also have a video reviewing these glasses <clears throat> and I'll leave a link to to that below as well we're just gonna kind of do something like that so we just kind of pull that back so I can just see my face the first thing that I guess I'm gonna talk about is or something that I've been dealing with for a long time for a few years maybe um, are friendships when it comes to friendships, a little history. I made like some lifelong friendships very early, um, which I think most people do. Um, so <clears throat> a few of my friendships have stemmed from, you know, middle school all the way up to uh, one, um, college. A few of them have not made it this far so i've had friendships that i thought were never gonna go anywhere and they did life happens you just get to a point where how do i say this it just is what it is right and when i say that um i just try to continue to reevaluate um what happened <clears throat> and then i got to a place where it's like we're gonna agree to disagree and move forward but somehow the moving forward part just didn't take place. I figured that, you know, you can like start fresh and over, but some things are meant to just be what they are. Um, I'm in a better space now to where I'm taking things for what they are. Most people are like, you know, you'll get over it is what it is, but it really took me a long time to get to this place. I got here because I was having conversations with other people and friends and kind of helping them like, or having them help me kind of analyze the situation. Um, and they were able to tell me if I was wrong or, you know, so on and so forth. I just feel like in conclusion of that or just to summarize people and places and things are meant for seasons and i don't think that it's necessarily a bad thing when the things that you have been so accustomed to uncomfortable with even people um are no longer <clears throat> with you um it's just a part of life and growth I was more hurt than like upset about having to face that fact, but I'm okay. And then you have other friendships that continue, which I have a few from middle school um, that continued, but are not what they were because of life. Um, but the ones now I'm talking about are ones that, you know, have stayed um, and are, you know, there's a mutual understanding that, you know, we are adults and life happens and we're going to go through things. Um, also, you know, we move, you know, away from each other. So we're not just a drive away. Um, but 
we are going to continue to stay in touch and not let that fall off. There's still disagreements and things, you know, you don't agree with, but you stay together and you stay connected because you know the amount of love and respect you had for each other and just the time that you put into the friendship. So, and then I have friendships with that were made still from middle school who, you know, that friendship or relationship is never gonna go anywhere. They knew who they are. Uh, we connect and we talk um, about things right now. Um, like pretty regularly. Those are just the different types of friendships throughout my life um, from that point. Ones that didn't make it, ones that we're still hanging on and still connecting and still um, deciding to keep the friendship there based off of, you know, our history and our respect and love for one another. And then ones that are um, just constant, like in the day to day. Um, so I have those and then I have uh, friendships from before the middle school friends like when I was way younger than that honestly I just feel like that one uh, a lot of work had to be put into it you know there's a point where you're kids and then you separate and then you get older and you're kind of still doing your own thing but I just feel like with friendships or relationships, there's a point where you get older and certain things have to become a priority. I prioritized our friendship over not having one because of just what it is. And I don't know how to explain it. I just feel like friendships are, are what you make them. Throughout life, we decided to stay together, stay connected. I'm truly grateful for the friendships that I have now from my childhood. So from when I was a kid all the way from to middle school and then developing friendships as a semi-adult, so in college, just like a blessing. I just feel like no one friendship that I have like have right now that is still what I consider like a healthy friendship I don't feel like one is like more important than the other I met all of these people you know throughout different parts of my life and they are all very very important to me I feel like it is okay to have different friends for certain things and different reasons and that's kind of where I'm at now so and then I feel like Another struggle is making friends as an adult. I say it's hard because I struggled with myself being the person who was the one who was always trying to make something shape. Meeting up or spending time together or hanging or talking and I just feel like it can't get deep unless those things and interactions become consistent enough and then you get to know each other more and then you feel more comfortable in just developing like a true authentic friendship. I see the potential, that's my thing. Like I could see the potential of what the friendship could be. The energy that I was putting into it for it to become what I knew it could be, um, the energy was not reciprocated. Everyone's busy and everyone has a life and everyone has things going on and that is very much true so i get it um but to me that excuse not an excuse but that reason can only be for so long if you genuinely want something you want a friendship that is like authentic and genuine but it's not being shown like the actions aren't there so Let's go get drinks. I saw you were going through something. I'm sorry to hear that for you. Let me know if you need anything and we should hang out. It's like, I felt like I was being annoying. Let's get drinks sometimes. Let's hang out. We should do this. Let's double date. Let's blah, 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 blah. And it just never went anywhere. 
I was like exhausted. Like I was tired of doing that. I was tired of consistently reaching out with the purpose of expanding something and connecting and blah, blah, blah. But I wasn't getting it back. I was trying to make time for us to develop that. And I'm talking about multiple people here, <laughs> like multiple people. Um, but it just seemed like that wasn't the case. I realized also, not realized, but like was starting to value even more the friendships that I had that are current now in the state that they're in to where those people I can still depend on and open up to. I don't know why it sounds easy to understand, but it is okay to have people where they're at in your life and that all your friends are not all, you know, at the place that you want them to be with in terms of like the friendship or whatever. And I don't know why that was so hard for me. <clears throat> I just didn't understand it. But like I said, I saw the potential. Um, my feelings were hurt, but I am over it. I'm done extending myself for people who don't have the same goal as me when it comes to friendships. Like I just feel like if it's always just going to be surface level or just event based, I'm okay. Like I'm not, you know, in need of that anymore. If you're struggling with that, if you're yearning and longing for friendships that hold weight, and value, um, I would just say some indicators that these people are not the right people is if the attempts at growing or developing the friendship are one-sided. And I knew it was when I felt like I was being annoying. And they probably may or may have not thought I was being annoying by the constant reach out to let's connect and blah, 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 let's get blah, blah, blah. And they might not have thought it, but to me, I feel like if I was on the receiving end of those attempts, I would be like, girl, like, if I wanted to be with you, I would plan something or not right now. Like, it just, to me, that's how I was realizing it. Make sure you continue to, or I'm going to make sure I continue to water those friendships and focus on those. My peace is so important to me. I also am creating boundaries for myself and just being more self-aware of factors that put me in a place of unease. Outside of the friends thing and me dealing with my emotions and feelings of that and wanting that, um, like family and I feel like I can speak for everybody when you know everyone is gonna have like some sort of family issues or drama and I felt myself very attached to those things in those situations from family because like when your family is not doing good like you feel that well at least I do like physically I'm like a few states away but like I still kind of feel very much so involved. I just started like, just like being more relaxed when I'm getting approached with these situations and just like, you know, just taking time away from my phone and, you know, just not approaching the situations that are like very high in emotions that are taking place with my family and not kind of taking that on. I'm just approaching it differently. So I'm still very much aware of what is happening with family and stuff, but I'm just taking a different approach. I'm a very sensitive person and everyone else's emotions, I like take on. So with their, I, I feel it and I'm trying to come up with solutions and I'm trying to like fix it. And like, now it's like another thing on my list that I'm like stressed about. And their thing is like high up on my list cause like that's family. I believe that, you know, everything will be okay. It'll work out and God has it under control.
So me worrying or adding another worry, which God already tells us not to do, you know, it's not going to be sufficient for me and my peace. I get very overwhelmed and I embody all of those emotions and issues that are happening and I like stress myself out. So it took me a while to kind of take a different approach with family because you want to help. You want everyone to be okay. And, you know, I pray for my family every day. Um, and it's not like, like I said, I'm still there. I'm still aware. I'm just there for support instead of trying to be the person to fix. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. I'm not all the way there yet. And I'm working on it because I love my family. Family is everything. And I really want to be of as much help. Um, so just kind of like figuring out like what's triggers for me, what gets me out of that headspace, how to approach, you know, intense or high stress situations with family. And if I can help, and it's not gonna put me in a deficit, then I will do that. Or if I feel like the deficit will probably won't last long, you know, or the turnaround is quick, I still might consider helping in that way. But if not, the best that I have for you is support. Um, and I feel like my husband gets the, he gets the reaction. He gets like the extras. Of that so if I take on all of that and I'm like not this good person and I'm stressed and I'm closed off and my husband is the one who like has to deal with that so I don't ever want to not be in a good place for him or make him stressed out because I'm stressed out you know and he's amazing when it comes to like my emotions and like how sensitive I am and like just tell me to you're gonna be okay just be calm and you're doing the best you can and it'll all work out and they'll figure it out you know um so definitely surround yourself with people who have like your best interest and if you don't have a significant other or someone who is trying to relieve you of the crazy emotional state that you're in definitely go seek some like counseling or therapy or talk to somebody as far as dealing with like things like that um I try to like limit my uh limit the access to me um so i don't answer calls as frequently after a certain time instead of me taking things on that their people are struggling with i kind of like i said leave them their resources or encouraging them <laughs> that they can do it you'll get through it just tackle it everything will be okay you know I just have my own issues and everyone's going to have them and I just don't want to acquire any more than I have to and I'm just super at peace with the people who I'm currently surrounded by um, and the energies that I'm surrounded by so if I get a hint of anything and that's even like within the workplace social events being around other people's people just in my home like i just physically cannot take disruption or confusion or rudeness or anger or high emotion like i i'm just not there with it and i i just refuse to deal with it That is hard. I was actually talking to my husband about fitness and we were both student athletes growing up for most of our lives. And it's just hard to find the drive and the motivation to do, you know, to work out since we, like we were kind of forced to work out because we were on a team. So now that no one's expecting us to be anywhere, it's kind of tough. So we were talking about like our mental toughness, like telling myself I don't want to, 
but then overcoming that by going to me is like mental toughness and I was thinking like I don't want to get to a point where I just don't have self-discipline and another way of exercising that is just doing what you said you're gonna do now that sounds simple too but when it comes down to it like those little things of oh I'm gonna cook tonight and you never do or you know oh I'm gonna go to the gym three times this week and you don't or I don't want to clean up so bad as soon as I'm getting home I'm gonna clean up and never do like not never do but just put it off again and again and again so just working on those factors come in Schedule. Mm -hmm. I'll be out momentarily. Okay, I'll be on a second. They're a little too too stiff, and I don't know, maybe too curly. Like the curl maybe isn't that bad. I don't know. So I don't know if that made any type of sense, but friends will come and go. Don't force anything, you know? Everything happens for a season and a reason. Take care of the friendships that you do have and the people who are around you and do love you and do support you and don't take them for granted don't get greedy for friendships don't take it personal uh you know if they wanted to they would will or would just learn to have like boundaries for the things that you will address and i don't want to say worry because like i said god tells us not to worry and he is the ultimate provider and he will take care of everything um for us so you know, I'm working on like my mental discipline with, you know, working out, with being consistent, stewarding over the things that I have, doing what I said I was going to do. <sighs> Just being at peace overall. My life's going to die again. So, yeah, I just wanted to say that everything is going to be okay. Um, and, you know, hopefully something that I said out of this you resonated with and you took something away. This was by no means not to be like, you know, I have everything, I know everything. I'm just saying what I went through, currently going through, what I'm processing and just what I'm taking on intentionally to be my best self. If you like this video, thumbs it up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video.